Governor Perry, we have a question from Anna in Belleville, and she wants to ask you about some of your key races. So you want to talk to Anna in Belleville? Sure. Yeah, hi, Anna. Howdy. How are you? Hi, Governor. Anna. Thanks so much for all you do for for us and the oh, cause. Yeah. Um, I was curious. It seems like we might finally get a chance to get some good new people in office in some key races. What were you thinking? What do you think are some of the key races we should be watching for coming up in this election cycle? Oh, oh I have yeah, I obviously uh, mentioned early in our in our uh, remarks about Charles Perry up in Lubbock, and and, and Charles, um, you know, he lines up with uh, you know the Right to Life Pact's endorsement as well, and, and uh, there's uh, uh, you know there there's a number of, of of races that I've endorsed publicly endorsed in, and uh, you know the, the the United States Senate race uh, is one of those, and, and, and David, I, I do say his name. Say his David her he's been a <laughs> he's been a, a great partner and has had a a, a powerful influence on uh, the Senate and uh, and and it's just been great to work with on not just on pro life issues but on the, the fiscal conservative side of things too. Uh, Larry Taylor is running for the Senate, Senate. Uh, and and he truly has a uh, a a rhino. I don't even know whether this guy's a rhino. Um, but uh, he's been funded by a personal injury trial lawyer down in that uh, Friendswood area, and, and Larry's going to be a great uh, conservative. Um, you know, there's you know James White uh, over in East Texas, uh, another uh, individual that I'm uh, both endorsed, and I'll be over campaigning with him. This anybody uh, in Stephenville? Oh man, let me tell you, uh, <laughs> any Sid cowboys Miller. in Stephenville? Yeah, and and thank you. Uh, Sid is is really being attacked by uh, the you know the the left forces, if you will. And uh, Sid's been a just an absolute stand up um, physical conservative pro life uh, Republican uh, incumbent that we just cannot take a chance on um, letting the uh, uh, the left come in. And, and and Elizabeth, let me just kind of say that. Uh, uh, particularly on uh, our, our pro-life uh, uh, candidates, one of the things that we're, we're seeing is because the, the liberals know that they can't beat us in a general election, and uh, you know we, we were over 100 uh, out of 150 Republicans elected, and so um, the the ploy now is these liberal groups, generally funded by labor unions and trial lawyers, and and the uh, uh, you know, the Freedom Network, and they come up with all of these names that on the face sound pretty good until you start digging around and you find out that they're uh, very left-leaning organizations uh, yeah. that are funding funding uh, these candidates uh, that are not going to be, uh, in, <laughs> in most cases, um, not Republican at all. 